Hey, it's Josephine from The Point Shop, and I'm with Emily. I'm fitting at Ballet Petite in Hayward, California. And today we're gonna to be fitting wider feet and higher profile. What a high profile foot means is that your foot is a little bit thicker than other people and has another layer of fat. It's actually really pretty on point because it fills out the shoe really nicely. The opposite is if you have really shallow feet and it doesn't fill out the point shoe as much, then you need a lower profile profile point shoe. So today we're specifically looking at Emily's feet. So if you look at her feet from the side, she has a higher profile foot. So she's a little bit thicker. Can you tondu towards me? Very good. So you can see the thickness of her foot here and she's also quite wide on the side. So we're gonna, we're gonna be taking a look at that first position and then tom to your other foot. First position and then have a seat. So go ahead and put your toe pads on. So the toe pad that Emily has right now is these longer toe pads. Can I grab one from you? So these are a little bit longer on the sides and I like these for a wider feet because it covers the entire toes and it covers the sides of her foot as well. So sometimes when you have wider feet, um, the, the, the toe pad tends to not come all the way around to cover the bunion. So this is a good call for Emily. Go ahead and put that on. And I'm gonna first show you um, a point shoe that is a little bit too narrow for her. A lot of the shoes are not gonna fit um, across the metatarsal and on the top of her foot. I really like Russian point um, models for Emily only because the, they come in six different widths. So a lot of point shoes will only go up to a width four, but um, Russian point comes up to a width six, so we have a lot of range to play with. So I'm gonna have you try on the shoe. So we're only playing with the width six for Emily because she has quite wide um, metatarsals there. And I actually love this kind of foot because um, it just fills out the shoe really nicely and it's very pretty. First position. And if you can actually look at her foot, her foot's bubbling over the shoe a tiny bit. So you can see this is a, a low profile shoe and Emily's foot is kind of bubbling over. So the length looks pretty good, but because the width is a little bit narrow, even though this is a width six, and because the profile's a little bit flatter, so um, her foot is bubbling over the shoe, and you don't want that either because you'll get these blisters around your drawstring if the shoe is too flat for you. If I am looking at her shoes from the side, she looks like, you can come down, hon. So you, she looks like she's sickling a little bit, and it's not because she's actually sickling, it's because the shoe is not high enough for her and it's not wide enough for her. So um, this is just the wrong model. It's just too flat, even though it's a width six. So I'm going to try a different model now. Go ahead and have a seat that is higher in the profile and a little bit rounder on the side so that it's covering the side of her feet um, really well. So again, this is the widest width in this model, but it, the, the shape of the shoe just isn't quite working out for her. If you look at these two, even though these are the same width, you can really see the difference between the two models. This one's a little bit rounder and wider and higher in the profile, and this one's flatter in the profile, it's a little bit more tapered. So even though, um, even if you get the same width across the different models, it's gonna do different things depending on what um, shape it is. I'm gonna put that one on. So this one in pretty nicely. Again, it's the same size, but you'll see a big difference here. Demi plie. See, so you can see the side and um, st straighten. So this shoe is covering her foot a little bit better because her foot is now straight inside the shoe instead of skewed because her foot is now comfortably um, filling out the shoe. Bring your left foot up on point, press up on both feet. Good girl. So now the twisting is gone because she is, um, the, the twisting is gone because the shoe is wide enough for her. Can you cross it into fifth position for me? Good, and I want you to beret. Good, is it jamming anywhere? Very good. So this is a wider shoe and I want to keep her in that. So if you have wider feet, one, you have a toe pad that covers both sides. Um, you're making sure that your foot is not bubbling over onto your, uh, onto your point shoes. And you're also going to make sure that your shoes are not twisting because that's very common with uh, feet with higher profile and wider, wider feet. Thank you so much. And if you have any questions about wider feet or narrow feet, anything that's unusual, that's difficult on point, you can just leave them on the comments and I'll try to get that to you as soon as possible. Thanks.